In this video, I want to apply what we've learned over the last few videos in order to derive the GLS estimator in the presence of a particular form of heteroscedasticity. And actually, when we're talking about GLS with regards only to heteroscedasticity, not in regard to serial correlation, we really could call it weighted least squares. I mean, they're exactly the same thing in those particular examples. Okay, so let's assume that we have a particular model, which is that yi is equal to alpha plus beta times xi plus ui. And the variance of an individual error ui, given that we have xi, is equal to, let's say, xi squared times sigma squared. So this is a particular simple form of heteroscedasticity in a case of a bivariate model. Okay, so we know we can rewrite this in matrix form as y is equal to x times beta plus u, and we can rewrite the variance of now our sort of random vector u, given we have our matrix of our independent variables x, that's just equal to sigma squared times omega, where omega here is just a diagonal matrix which has diagonal components x1 squared through x n squared and off diagonal components given by zero. Okay, so this is our particular setup. Now what we can do is we can actually derive the form of the transformation because remember the first stage of GLS is actually a transformation and the transformation matrix is given by omega to the power minus a half. And omega to the power minus a half here is actually quite simple because omega itself is a diagonal matrix. So omega to the power minus a half is really just each of these individual components to the power minus a half. So essentially the first component is 1 over x1, second component is 1 over x2, all the way through to 1 over xn, and all the off-diagonal components are equal to zero. So our transformation matrix in this particular example takes on a particularly simple form. Okay, so now we can use this transformation matrix and apply it to both sides of our matrix equation. So if we do that, then what we can do is, if I use this thing that we've already sort of got here in order to start us off, we apply this transformation matrix to our vector of dependent variables, which is y1 through yn, and then we apply it to the right-hand side as well. So then we're just gonna get our one over x1 through to one over xn times our matrix of our independent variables, which in the case of a bivariate model is just going to be 1, x1 through to 1, xn, then times our vector of our parameters, which is just in this case alpha, beta, and then finally we're going to have our matrix 1 over x1 through to 1 over xn times our vector of our errors, which is just going to be u1 through to un. You can still make that out. Okay, so if we partic uh, pick a particular row of this particular matrix, then we're going to get an equation. So if we do that, and let's say I pick, pick a particular value of yi, and then sort of work out the value of the left-hand side and of the right-hand side. So on the right-hand side, we're just going to get yi divided by xi, if we do the multiplication. And then on the right hand side, our first term is actually just going to be alpha over xi. And then our second term is then going to be 1 over xi times xi times then beta. So the xi's are actually going to cancel in this circumstance, so we're just going to be left with beta. And then we're going to have plus ui over xi. So our transform model is actually just going to be to divide both sides by xi. And it turns out that evaluating OLS, or estimating OLS rather on this transform model actually gives us blue estimates, or blue estimators, because of the fact that the transformed error should be homoscedastic. But let's check that for this particular circumstance. Okay, so our transformed error is given by ui over xi. So I can evaluate its variance. So the variance of ui divided by xi, given that we have xi, is just equal to what's well, going to be 1 over xi squared times the variance of ui given xi. And we've got a 1 over xi squared because we know that the variance of a 
constant number times a random variable, let's say b, is equal to the constant squared times the variance of the random variable, which in this case is b. So in this case, because we are given xi, xi itself is a constant, so then we square it and that actually allows us to work out the variance. So we've got 1 over xi squared times the variance of ui given xi. Well, we already know what that is. It's given up here. It's xi squared times sigma squared. So the xi's are going to cancel, and we're just going to be left with sigma squared. In other words, we have a constant variance structure. So we have homoscholastic errors on the transform system, which means that OLS on the transform system here are going to be blue. In other words, GLS estimators or weighted least squares estimators are actually going to be blue.